Welcome back to Canva Training and this, today I'd like to share with you a new feature that I'm very excited about because it's very relevant to what I'm working with at the moment for a review that I'm conducting uh, with a website application. Now this is something that is for anyone of any level or any skill set in utilising Canva. I must say I have a paid account for Canva so this isn't the free service that I'm utilising. This is something that um, I pay, I think it's about approximately $15 Australian per month to access and you get unlimited lots of templates and amazing features as part of that. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you this new feature that I'm really excited about and I'm going to just go in to create a Facebook post. And it's really helpful for reporting and doing a graphic type uh, information and it's fantastic to be able to create and embed in your document or save as an image. So what we do is we go into, we've got our um, post size that we're wishing to use. We go into elements and the new feature is charts. So if we click on the charts, you're able to see the different types of charts that you can access and include. Now you'll notice that when I scroll down, with the icons here which say free, uh, these particular ones are non-editable as far as putting data in with that chart uh, or with that particular set of graphic. However, when you have ones here with edit, it means that you have data that you can input and we're going to do an example now. So say we'll do this particular pie chart. Up the top, you'll see where it has data. So if you click on data, it's as simple as going to your labels and changing those particular items to what you would like it to represent. So we might type in, for example, if you're a business, looking at what sort of, you know, if you're a retailer, shoes, and our volume is, you know, 26, for example. Next one might be hats, we might do scarves. Socks, jocks, and we can continue adding additional items should we choose. Um, otherwise, we just renew, move those um, those values and just leave them be. So we can change the figures. So we've got twenty six. So say we make it twenty four. So I hope I'm, hopefully my maths is okay with us at the moment. Um, so what have we got? We got fifty. So say we've got another twenty, and then we've got. 20, and then we've got 10. So there we go. Uh, and it's as simple as coming across, and that's our chart. And we can choose then to go to our style, and we can pick particular colors to change as well. So they've got different particular palettes that you can use if you like one over another, and it gives you color codes to help you with that. So it saves you choosing. You could also do custom. So should you wish, you can add specific custom colors at the top. But I just thought this feature was really cool and love the simplicity of it. And we can just go up to the top and we can choose to download this item. Uh, if it's for website content, PNG file types are the best to use. Otherwise, we can do it for print or for a JPEG. And then we can simply hit download and it will be saved to the file that you wish to save it under. And then you can use that and import that as a picture or an image into your Word document or your publisher page or your PowerPoint presentation, whichever particular platform you're looking at using.